My name is Michael Thomas Kane, and I'm here to tell you about Forgotten Artist Productions. Forgotten Artist Productions is a brand new production company located in New York that produces creative and artistic work and projects for theater, film and video, visual art, photography, and whatever else we can get our hands into. Now you may be asking yourself, why would anybody want to do that in a place that's so saturated with that kind of thing? New York is the home of one of the biggest media markets in the world to film, television, publishing, and advertising. If there's something that you want to say or produce, or if you're looking to get on the map, this is the place to do it. So why did I come here? Why did I choose to start Forgotten Artist Productions in New York? For the same reason everybody else does in hopes of capturing and contributing to the spirit that's established here. And if you have anything of substance that you want to express, this is the place to do it. A man and woman are sentenced to do nothing but work at their jobs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for years. Their isolation becomes intolerable. Doing anything other than work has consequences. There's nothing out there that will save us. How do you know? I can feel it. What sacrifice will they make to get what they want? MoMA houses some of the most famous artists in history. But thousands of artists work daily on their craft and creations without being noticed. They struggle to survive, but they do it anyway because they have vision, passion, and a need to connect with humanity. Van Gogh was awkward and misunderstood, and very few of his paintings were recognized during his lifetime. But he worked with great passion and intensity because he had to, because he needed to, because it was his calling. He so desperately wanted people to recognize what it was that he was expressing but very few did. In a sense, he sacrificed himself for his art, and that's a pretty big price to pay. For many back in the 60s, Bleecker and McDougall in Greenwich Village were considered the crossroads of the world. At one time, Greenwich Village was the heart of a lot of artistic activity. Many people still believe that. The bars and cafes in the village have hosted some famous and not so famous poets, writers, musicians, dancers, singers, painters, playwrights, and actors since the early 1900s. Even Bob Dylan got his start in the village at the Gaslight Cafe. The Gaslight Cafe is long gone, but folk singers from all over would come here to this location at 116 McDougal Street to perform. Many great playwrights like Samuel Beckett and Sam Shepard have had their plays produced here at the Cherry Lane Theater. Beckett's Endgame was first produced in America here at this theater in 1958. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See? And life, life is not perfect. That's for sure. Life is not perfect, and I am not perfect, and I'm not going to start over because I've already talked about a lot of stuff. Uh, maybe we'll do a, a second take later. Connect with us at www.forgottenartistproductions.com, on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, or send us an email at forgottenartistproductions at gmail.com. If you're an artist who's worrying about being left behind, or you're an audience member who's interested in supporting artistic expression, connect with us. Because the sky's the limit. 